Welcome back to another Glamping Doodles. In this video, I'm going to show you some new additions to our rig as we continue cruising around the United States. And then I welcome Amanda on board. And our first stop is the Meow Wolf in Grapevine, Texas. It's a portal to another dimension right in the Grapevine Mills Mall. It truly is an interactive wonderland full of art. You never know what door will open and lead you into a new realm. And then we get the RV all packed up and headed down the road. Our first stop is Austin, Texas. All right, back filming again for Glamp and Doodles. Got a couple little additions here that I'm gonna show you and done a few things on the inside. Uh, let's go inside first. So, uh, so this is my 2004 Winnebago Vectra. Um, Amanda, by the way, will be here shortly. Uh, she's taking an Uber here from her place and we're gonna head out. But on the inside here, what I did, I, uh, there was a couch that came out about halfway into the aisle. And especially when you had the slide in, it was, it took up a lot of space. Um, and so what I did is I took the couch out, threw it away, and I got these two little chairs. And man, I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. Makes everything so much more spacious in here. And I think it looks pretty good. Fortunately, uh, under the couch, there was like some stains on the carpet that looked pretty bad. So I uh, just got a rug to put over it. But it made me think, I'm just kind of looking at it. I think I'm gonna replace this carpet. Um, the carpet is just old, it's original, it's dingy. It doesn't look good. It makes it look outdated and everything. So, uh, and it's gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna get some, some of that peel and stick, like vinyl planking, and should be do, do, doing well. I'm a little concerned about the slide out going out over it. I hope it doesn't scuff that up too much, but it's so cheap to do. I can buy some extra planks and should be all right. A couple other little things. Uh, I had to replace the uh, faucet here. <clears throat> I mean, evidently there was some water trapped in the spout, like this part right here, and uh, it cracked because we had a really strong freeze. So I had to replace the faucet. Also in the toilet area, again, there was another one. Um, there was a the little valve down here by the foot part right there. Uh, I, I guess there was some water trapped in there as well. And uh, it froze and so it was leaking. So I had to replace that. Uh, another thing that had problems with it uh, kind of sucked. Uh, so I don't have a generator right now um, because you know what they think happened is is that there was some water sitting on like from condensation or something sitting on the inverter module and when that did a hard freeze it like cracked everything in there so they had to pull the generator out and they're gonna replace that module it's like four grand to fix that um, that kind of sucks but uh, I need a generator eventually I uh, don't need one right now because um, we're just going to RV parks, but next month um, we will be camped out for a while, and so I need my generator, so I have to have to get that fixed. You know, I, I am considering, it depends on how things go monetarily this year, I am considering um, trading this in on a slightly, because this is 2004, I'd like to get like a 2014, um, because a lot of RV parks, you know, there are, there are a lot of RV parks, if you're over 10 years old, they make you send pictures in of your RV, and if you're over 20 years old, they don't allow you at all unless you're certified as like a classic, you know, like a like a Airstream or something. So uh, I'm thinking about getting a new one just to deal with all that. And I think the RV market has really softened up a lot lately. Like yeah, I'm seeing a, a, like 2014s for, you know, a diesel pusher for less than $100,000, which, you know, those things were close to 200,000 just about two years ago. So, uh, which means I'll get less for this when I trade it in, but let's we'll see how it goes. But all right, and I'm gonna show you outside too now. So another issue this RV's having is that the, uh, the clear coat's coming off and it's just flaking off and it looks like crap. Uh, I mean, the RV's really comfortable, I like it, but it's a, it's getting worse. I got a quote to see how much it is to wrap it. That was ridiculous. I was thinking it would be like, you know, less than $10,000 to wrap it, but it was like close to 20 grand and wraps only last like five years. I'm like, well, it's $20,000 for a paint job, which I mean, this RV might be worth 50,000 now. So you're gonna spend 20,000 on a paint job? I don't think so. So that just kind of sucks. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Um, I might try to sand some of it down and like spray some clear coat on myself. I just gotta find a place where I can actually do that because they don't let you do that kind of stuff in RV parks. I have a Ural uh, motorcycle, which is a motorcycle from, with a sidecar. It had a recall on it. The wheels on it needed to be recalled. Uh, they were having problems with it like disintegrating. And so I didn't have it for about eight months. Well, getting around, I need a vehicle to tow behind my RV. 
uh, I've been using a motorcycle, so I bought a KLR650, and I really enjoy having that KLR650. It's really easy to use, uh, and it's fast, and it's versatile, and all that. Um, but I also like having the Ural because you can go get groceries in it, and it's you know it's easier for you like doing. You want to go? I don't know. It, it's just it's convenient to have. So I'd like to bring them both up. Them. My old trailer was too small, so now I have this 14 by 7 trailer, uh, tandem axle with a spoiler, LED lights, and all that. Um, I, you know, it's a little bit bigger. It's a couple feet longer, but it helps fit all my stuff. It's real easy to pull down the back. It's got a, you know, it's kind of got a like a hinge like your garage door would have up there. So it's on a spring, so it's nice and balanced, easy to pull down. And now I got room. I got these two uh, wheel chocks. I'm probably gonna throw them away because I end up getting a new system on here, but I just wanna make sure the system works before I throw those away. So this is my Ural with a sidecar. Um, and then up here, I have my KLR 650 and my two e-bikes. And I'm using this uh, e-trax system, so you kind of screw all those in, and then you can move around these wheel chocks however you want. And so that way, you know, if I need to haul, haul, haul cargo in this thing, I don't have to like, I can so it's really easy to remove the uh, wheel chocks and uh, get at. And then it, I like also how it has a door on the side for accessing the, also, you just open this up and I can get at that. So the bikes are still uh, decorated from Burning Man. Hopefully they run, they get set outside for a long time. Hopefully uh, none of the electronics went too bad on it, but we'll see. There you have it, that's the new additions to the RV for this season. I'm gonna do a little work right now. I'm gonna, I gotta put some more tabs on that E-Track. So I've just got them screwed in to the uh, plywood. It's like a three quarter inch plywood. Right now, what I would like to do also is use some um, bolts to bolt them down. So in case it doesn't want to strip out the wood, it's probably a little overkill, but I would rather safe than sorry so that I don't end up having a motorcycle or something fall over while we're underway and then just bounce around for two or three hours just screwing everything up on it. So I'm gonna make sure everything's nice and solid. Oh, hello. All right, so we are, where are we going? We're going to Meow Wolf. Meow Wolf, if you've never heard of it, it's like a, it's kind of a themed like. It's an experience. It's an experience. It's an art exhibit, right? So, Exhibition. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, it's, they're, they're all over the country, there's five or six of them, and they, uh, it's like a portal to a different universe, different realm. So that's where we're going, to a different realm. <laughs> and they're actually, so in a little while, in a few months, we're going to the Texas Eclipse Festival and Meow Wolf is having a, uh, basically uh, an art installation, kind of an experience at the Texas Eclipse Festival. There'll be links down below if you guys want to get more information on that. But uh, we'll kind of give you a preview of what they're going to show us at the Texas Eclipse Festival. Yes. So there's one here in Dallas, so we're going to do that before we get going on our road trip. All right. Uh, it's great, I've never great. been before, so I'm pumped. You've never been to any Meow Wolf? I've never oh, been. Wow. I saw a documentary on it, and okay. like I've always wanted to go. It seems so cool. I've, I've been to the one in Santa Fe, and I've been to the one in Las Vegas. So uh, the one in Dallas is fairly new. Kept looking forward to checking it out. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right. It was a short drive just north of Dallas to Grapevine Mills Mall. We're here. We coordinated our visit to Meow with beforehand, so they were ready for us to do some filming. At first, it looks like just another cafe in the mall, but as you get deeper in, it gets a little weird. Inside the main part of the facility is a suburban neighborhood. We have entered Meow Wolf. So basically this is a family home and we are gonna go explore it here. There's some, been some portals ripped open to another dimension. So just some backstory. Uh, this opened July of 23. It took about four years to do it. Uh, there's like a family story here and how like the portals have been ripped open and all that. And this used to be a bed, bath and beyond. Right, now it's just a beyond, beyond is what he said. Yeah. So, all right, and thank you, Connor, for uh, giving us the inside scoop, but let's go explore. You wanna start outside here, see what's going on? Yeah, a little garden. It's spring break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a little bad timing on our part. Spring break. It's the only time we can do it. Yeah. At first it looks like a normal home, but then you notice things aren't quite right. 
Next thing you know, you're broken into another dimension. It's easy to get lost in the winding and varied pathways. They actually encourage you to touch and explore things. Time this for spring break. There's like a million kids. Here. There's so many. I haven't seen this many kids in a long time. I, I haven't seen this many people in a long time. <laughs> I want to find more interactive stuff. You never know when you're gonna open up a refrigerator and it leads a path to another dimension. Oh wow. I love it. <laughs> oh, there's tons of refrigerators. <laughs> Scattered throughout the exhibit are clues to what caused the rift in the dimensions. Let's go into another refrigerator. What did I just walk in on? <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of interactivity, even in places you would never imagine. All right, what are your thoughts on Meow Wolf? I thought it was so fun. Like the immersive experience is definitely worth trying out. Maybe not during spring break. Maybe not during spring break. But, because it was, it was I mean, we, little... we probably would have liked to stay longer and like explored more, but there's just so many people. Yeah, it's a really busy day. Probably the busiest time of the year for them. Yeah, I'm sure it is probably, honestly. So, all right, uh, let's go get some food. All right. It's like a house on wheels. It's basically a house on wheels. Look who it is. Yeah, all right, we gotta get out of here. Uh, we're already oh, running late, we're already in rush hour, and it's gonna be dark dark when we get there. So. Oh, yeah. We're going three and a half hours down just south of Austin. Yes, yes, I'm very ready. We left Dallas in the late afternoon, which meant we were gonna be doing some driving at night. It was well after dark by the time we made it to Austin. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel to get notified when we post our next video. And thank you to our channel members for helping support the channel.